Hey guys, my name is Raquel, but you can call me Rocky. Today I'm with Raquela and Ray Dawn, and today we'll be making Christmas cookies. Um, I've got I got the recipe from Tasty, aka BuzzFeed. So let's get started. Now for the ingredients, you need eight tablespoons of butter, also known as one stick, and make sure it's soft. We're going to be using one cup of granulated sugar, one egg, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of flour, a half teaspoon of food coloring. You can use whatever color you want. We're going to be using green and red. And we're going to need some sprinkles. Now for the tools, we're going to be using one large bowl. You're going to need an electric mis mixer, but we're going to be using a whisk. You're also going to need some measuring cups and spoons. We have a half cup and a half teaspoon. You also need a cutting board. We're going to be using the small pan. We're also going to need a rolling pin and we will need some saran wrap. So that is everything that we need. Let's get started with mixing all the ingredients together. So we're gonna start by mixing the butter and sugar into this bowl and we're gonna mix it until it's light and fluffy. Uh, Raquela, you wanna put the butter in? Okay, so unwrap that. Raquela, you could put that in the bowl. The whole thing? Yep, the whole thing. Pick it up and just pick it up and flop it in. There yeah. you go. Then you can mix it. Here you go right down. You can pull that in. Huh? I put the that in. Mesh. So we have one stick of butter, aka eight tablespoons of butter, and we have one cup of sugar, which we created by using two half cups. So now we're going to whisk this together until it's light and fluffy. Okay, so we finished mixing the butter and sugar together. It was kind of difficult to mix with um, with ju just this whisk, so I had to go in with my hands and mix it more thriftfully. Next, we're going to mix in one egg, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a half teaspoon of salt. You want to do the vanilla, Rakela? Yeah. Okay. Here, hold. Okay, here, you can pour it in. Shake it. Now, Ray Dawn, you can do the salt. Both 
And now for the egg. I'm cutting, never cracking the egg like that before. Sometimes. Now we're going to mix it, and while we're mixing, we're going to add one and a half cups of flour. Okay, so we have all of our dough mixed. Now we're going to knead it into a ball and then cut it in half. It's really crumbly. I think it's just our bread. Like it's just falling yeah, apart. Not plain. Oh, no. Oh no. I'm going to try adding a little bit of water to maybe help it stick together better. Okay, now we have half of our dough, and since we are using two food colorings, we're, all, we're also going to split this half in half and add red to one side and green to the other side. Can you open this right on? Are you able to? No, is it too slippery? Okay, well. Oh. Get yeah, open. Okay. We're gonna put it in a little ball. That's what. I don't think we need to use that measuring thing. Okay, this might stain your hands, just so you know. So we're just gonna we're gonna close it up first. 
mixes them up. And then you're going to mix them together. That's oh, yours, yeah. that's yours. going to be rolling out these two balls of dough. Now I'm going to put these two pieces in the fridge to chill while I roll out the plain dough. I'm gonna cut this piece in half as well and roll out two separate pieces. Next, I'm going to layer each piece of dough and then roll it all up. Now we're going to pour some sprinkles into the pan and then roll the log of cookie dough and cover the whole cookie dough in the sprinkles. Okay, so I recorded me and my sister um, cutting up the cookie and putting it in the oven and all that, but the um, the recording wasn't like saved or something. So um, these are the finished cookies. They they look they look pretty good. Um, so we pre we had preheated the oven to 375 and the instructions said to put them in for 8 minutes but 8 minutes wasn't really enough so I just kept them on and just kept uh, checking on them and I left them in until the bottoms were um, like a golden brown or like a light brown color. Um, so... I'm just going to try a little piece and just see how it tastes. They taste pretty good, but I wouldn't say like worth the hassle. Um, cons like it being crumbly and falling apart and like as you can see, um, not all the pieces came out like perfect. They were kind of falling apart like this one. I kind of like squished together. Like we only got about like three decent looking pieces. Um, so they don't taste bad, 
but I wouldn't say worth um, worth the trouble. Um, but if you guys want, try out this recipe. I will leave a link to the original video down below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe. Bye!